All right, keep up the hard work, guys. Hey, Royce, where's this one go? Parts unknown. Tokon Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. All right, keep up the hard work, guys. Hey, Royce, where's this one going? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Adnan Qureshi with New Japan Pro Wrestling of America. And for today's Tokon Shop Global online meet and greet, we have Lucha Lib Libre Sensation Mascara Dorada here for us, right here, so you can get some assigned exclusive Mascara Dorada merchandise. If you head over to the Tokon Shop Global right now, just use the link in the description or the pinned comment in the chat, and you can get yourself some signed merchandise. Over the course of his 15-year career, he has been everywhere all over the world, including CMLL, WWE, and right back here in New Japan Pro Wrestling, and we can't be more excited to have him here for this meet and greet. So, without further ado, let me introduce to you, he is a former CMLL Super Lightweight Champion, World Trios Champion, Welterweight Champion, and most importantly, he is the King of the Ropes, Mascara Dorada. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias por la invitación y muy contento, muy emocionado y todavía tiene la oportunidad para comprar sus productos oficiales de Máscara Dorada, el rey de las cuerdas. Thank you very much for having me, inviting me over to the New Japan Pro Wrestling live stream for the meet and greet. It's going to be a real pleasure to have signing your signage today and I'm looking forward to today. Thank you very much. Uh, ¿Cómo está? Muy bien. Thank you so much. Good. Gracias. Doing okay. Good, good, good. And we also have Julio Rodriguez over here on the side doing translation for us. So thank you very much, Julio. But now let's take a look at some of the items that you can get right now on the Tokan Shop Global. Let's go ahead and start to my right here, hanging right here. We've got this lovely Mascara Dorada t-shirt available in a few sizes. Lovely red Mascara flying in the air. Uh, Senor Dorada, uh, any comments about how the t-shirt design came together? Ese diseño es especial eh, de mis movimientos que 
¿qué hago arriba del ring? Eh, como ven, ahí estoy haciendo el codazo desde la tercera. Es una camisa muy bonita. This, uh, Matt, this uh, shirt is very special. It's uh, me just jumping off the top third rope using the flying elbow drop and really uh, accentuates my high flying spirit. Excellent, excellent. And then over here, uh, right in front here, we have uh, over here on the adjacent, we have these Mascara Dorada plush dolls that you can get. They are available on an assorted color. So perfect Christmas gift for the holiday coming up. So get yourself one of these if you so desire. And in the middle there, you can see the two s portraits that you can get of Mascara Dorada, two different poses. Lovely portraits. Get one or both. And then uh, the last item that we have available on the Tokan Shop Global, if you take a look over camera left of Mascara Dorada, an actual mask there in the Mascara Dorada design. They will be signed by him. And I actually have a question. How did you come up with the design for your mask, actually? El diseño es un estilo de Power Ranger. Oh. Y de Power Ranger, eh, siempre me ha gustado Every time I like the Power Ranger, you know? Oh, yeah. Eh, es una inspiración de mi traje para eh, siempre estar evolucionando, estar cambiando ideas, pero con esa idea de que la gente vea el, el estilo de máscara dorada a un estilo de, de Power Ranger. So it's inspired very much to uh, Power Rangers. And it helps me evolve my gear as well to always be evolving and always stepping forward into a design that's ever growing that allows me to feel like I'm evolving alongside my gear. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Who's your favorite Power Ranger? What, I'm curious. Uh, White. White Ranger? White Ranger. Tiger, Tiger Megazord, all that? A... Dope. All right. That's awesome. Well, don't forget, head over to Tokon Shop Global right now. Link at the description or the pinned comment in the chat, and you can get yourself some exclusive signed merchandise just like our first person here, Yusuke Taguchi from Nara, Japan. And Yusuke got a signed portrait as well as a signed mask. So as you will see, Senor Dorada will be signing your portrait for you, Yusuke, and we will get that sent over to you as soon as we can while Dorada is signing that. Just want to remind everybody that, hey, Wrestle Kingdom is coming up into the new year on January 4th. Don't forget to check out Wrestle Kingdom 17th. Go over to njpwworld.com, sign up for New Japan World, and you can see live Wrestle Kingdom 17, where we're, uh, Switchblade Jay White will be defending the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship against Kazuchiko Okada, winner of the G1 Climax. There you go, Yusuke. All right. Thank you. Quedó listo. Gracias, gracias por la compra. Thank you so much. All right. And an arigato for you too, so from, from, from Japan. And then next up here we have Tucker Wilson from Pennsylvania here. They also got themselves a signed mask. There you go. Power Ranger inspired. Super cool, super colorful. There's the signature for you. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias por la compra. Nah. And then right here, coming up here, we have a comment here coming up from Abraham Medina from Fort Worth, Texas, as he also got a signed mask. And uh, Abraham wanted to say to you, Mascara Dorada, viva la raza, mi amigo Abraham. Oh, muchas gracias, viva la raza, y muchas gracias por el apoyo a toda la gente latina. Ya saben, que su, su amigo Mascara Dorada aquí está presente, firmando todos los productos oficiales. Thank you very much for your support. Mascara Dorada appreciates every purchase and supporting the raza. And thank you for the official license merchandise exclusively through Mascara Dorada and New Japan Pro Wrestling. Absolutely. Head over to the Tokon Shop Global right now. Get yourself some merchandise. Uh, Mascara Dorada, I wanted to ask, uh, when you were growing up, who inspired you to become a luchador? Eh, my father, mi papá. Oh. Es, fue los que, ahora sí que fue el que me, me inculcó a, a esto del deporte. Él fue el que me entrenó. 
my father was the one who introduced me to pro wrestling, and he's the one who initially trained me to become a pro wrestler. Oh, your father was luchador, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, luchador. Who did he uh, wrestle as? He luchó nomás local en mm -hmm. Guadalajara, Jalisco. Mm -hmm. eh, fue un luchador que nomás estuvo en, en una arenita que, que se llamaba la Arena Zapata. He was one of the local wrestlers in uh, Jalisco, Mex Mexico. Um, and just uh, stayed in his local area in uh, Zapata, uh, Are Arena Zapatas? Arena Zapata. It's Arena Zapata. All right. That's awesome to hear. Well, thank you very much for that information. All right, next up here we have uh, William Gottfried here from Hotville, New York. Oh, Holtzville, New York, sorry. And then he got himself a mask as well. Well, Mascara Dorada is signing that. Don't forget, you can catch New Japan Pro Wrestling live in the United States again coming up next year on February 18th at the San Jose Civic Center. So tickets are on sale for Battle in the Valley right now. Just head over to NJPW1972.com, and you can see New Japan Pro Wrestling live here in the United States. All right. Thank you very much there for William. All right, next up here we have Jonathan Harwell from Indianapolis, Indiana as Jonathan also got himself a signed mask. That one's for you, Jonathan. And don't forget, if while you are signing up for NJPWWorld.com, we have a, a fantastic event coming up also early next year, Fantastica Mania, an event that Mascara Dorada has a lot of history with. Through 2011, 2015, 2016, 2011, he actually lost the, uh, the welterweight title to Ryusuke Taguchi, but regained it in Dominion of that year. But then in 2016, you beat Bushi to regain the welterweight championship for Fantastica Mania. So I want to ask, how excited are you for the return of Fantastica Mania after the hiatus that the pandemic left us? First time in a couple of years, we're having Fantastica Mania in Japan, 2023. How excited are you about Fantastica Mania? Oh, Fantastica Mania is an event very special because there are many Mexicans. You know? eh, era de mis eventos favoritos cuando yo podía ir extraño mucho ir a Japón espero ya poder estar pronto allá con todos ustedes porque como se les he comentado es mi segunda casa Fantastic Mania is a very special uh, tour because it involves a lot of the uh, Mexican luchadores and it's very special to me because I appreciate going to Japan and really misses going to Japan is one of those events that really encapsulates pro wrestling, very international sport. How much did it mean to you in 2016 to actually beat Bushi in New Japan to regain the CMLL Welterweight Championship during that match? Eh, cuando me tocó enfrentar a Bushi, mm -hmm. eh, era uno de los contrincantes más fuertes, más fuertes. Eh, Y siempre daba el 100, siempre salí emocionado para brindarle a toda la gente lo que sabía hacer más cara dorada en, en cada evento donde me presentaba. Bushi was one of the tougher opponents I've had during that tour. Uh, he really gave it his all when I had to face him one on one in the ring. And he really encapsulates what New Japan Pro Wrestling allows us to do and allows us to be the best in the ring no matter who our opponent is. Awesome, awesome. All right, thank you very much for that. All right, next up here we have, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce this, this is Dionysus uh, Nemakissis from Lithuania. So shout out to Lithuania for making your purchase on the Tokon Shop Global, truly showing off how global New Japan Pro Wrestling is. And you'll be getting yourself a signed mask. There you go, heading all the way to Lithuania from Mexico, so to speak. Muchas gracias por la compra. Les mando muchos saludos. I mean, that's a great example there. That's a fan from Lithuania. How much does it mean to you to know that you've left an impact on fans all over the planet, whether it's UX, Mexico, Japan, or in this case, Lithuania and over Europe? A todo, todos los fans de, tú lo acabas de comentar, de todo el, el mundo, muchas gracias siempre por, por su apoyo. Eh, estoy muy agradecido. Eh, donde quiera que me presento, 
eh, el apoyo que me, que me dan. Eh, no tengo ahora sí que con qué pagárselos, pero agradecido con todos ellos. I don't know how to repay you for feeling so appreciated from anybody worldwide. Uh, it feels with, I feel real humbled knowing that everyone around the world can appreciate what I do and I can never repay that debt that you, the fans, have supported me throughout the years. Awesome, absolutely awesome. All right, moving on here. Next we have uh, Nick Facenda from Providence, Rhode Island. Nick got himself a signed mask. Oh, sorry, you got a portrait. Wrong. So there you go, Nick. Don't forget, you can catch Mascara Dorada and many other members of the New Japan Pro Wrestling roster on New Japan Strong every single Saturday on NJPWWorld.com. Tune in, 8 Eastern and 5 Pacific. Recently, Mascara Dorada just re-teamed up with Lince Dorado, and that will be airing soon on New Japan Strong, so don't forget to catch that. Next up here, we have Brian Alexander from Susan City, California. They got themselves a signed portrait, so thank you, Brian. And then Brian has a question, and Brian's question is, it's nice to see you back in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Is there anyone in particular that you are looking forward to facing, and is there any championship that you have your eyes set on? Muchas gracias por, por esa pregunta, y estoy muy contento, muy emocionado de regresar a, a New Japan. Eh, ahorita seguimos preparando para en cuanto se dé la, la oportunidad de ir por el por el campeonato. El, ya sea el campeonato de parejas, ahora que New Japan Strong. Uh, principio me quisiera decirle gracias por esa pregunta. Or, uh, I would like to thank you for that question you asked. Um, really appreciate knowing that uh, I can go into any of the uh, junior, ta junior titles. Uh, right now I had just teamed up with Linsa Dorado and that is something that he can also look into facing for the IWGP Tag Team Championships, the Junior Tag Team Championships, or whether it is for the New Japan Strong Championship. Ah, so you and Lince, the old Lucha House Party, looking to either face Catch 2-2 in Japan or the Motor City Machine Guns in the U.S. for either belt, huh? Yeah, the people they like, you All know? Right. Those yeah. sound like they would be incredible matches, so hopefully New Japan ma matchmakers are paying attention. We could see either of those matches coming up soon. So, all right, next up here we have uh, Michael Killicullen from Albany, New York. Michael got himself a portrait. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, you can still get yourself signed merchandise. Head over to Tokon Shop Global using that link in the description or the pinned comment in the chat. There you go. That one is for you, Michael. Michael, thank you so much, Michael. There you go. And then uh, next up here we have Eric uh, Bernben from New York City. And he got himself a mask, and he is asking if you could autograph the outside of the mask and on the tongue of that one. Um, next up. And then while we get that signed, also don't forget New Japan Pro so Wrestling Action is also airing every Thursday oh, night on oh, Access sorry. TV, sorry. so don't forget to check out New Japan Pro Wrestling on Access. That is 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. That's right after Impact Wrestling, another one of our partners. So it's good to see. You get a double dose of wrestling action. First you get Impact Wrestling, then New Japan Pro Wrestling. I can't think of a better way to spend a Thursday night. There you go, Eric. That one is going out to you. Okay, uh, next up here we have Isaias Carlos from San Jose, California. He got himself a signed portrait. Then that one's going to go out to you, Isaiah. So what, what I wanted to know here, Mascara Dorada, I want to know, you came back to New Japan Pro Wrestling earlier this year, New Japan Rivals for New Japan Strong. You came out. What was it like to come back to New Japan Pro Wrestling after so many years being away from the promotion? Um... Es una oportunidad regresar a New Japan porque 
es un lugar que siempre me han tratado muy bien y me gusta todo el roster que tienen, ¿no? Me gusta todo el roster que tienen y como se los comentaba, quiero enfrentar a, a todos los rivales más fuertes. Me encantaría enfrentar a, a Okada, eh, a Tanahashi. Uh -huh. eh, digo, seguirme preparando y seguir demostrando quién es más cara dorada. The opportunity to return, so very hum I felt humbled to know that that op opportunity to return felt right uh, because New Japan always treated me right. Um, always appreciated that New Japan knew that they were able to acknowledge my ability to wrestle. And I like that I have to face a talented roster that New Japan Strong has acquired over the years. And he would like to face the, be the best and the strongest, such as Kazuchika Okada, uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and just prove who Mascara Dorada truly is in the ring. There are a couple of more awesome dream matches that I think yeah. all of us would want to see here in New Japan. Yeah, I, I forgot the Naito. Naito. También oh. me encantaría enfrentar a Naito. Es un, un gran luchador que cuando yo estaba en México, mm -hmm. eh, sus primeras participaciones de Naito en México, mm -hmm. eh, me tocó en... Me tocó varias veces en la Arena Coliseo de Guadalajara, mm -hmm. en la Arena Coliseo de Puebla, y es un gran rival. You want me to do it? Mm -hmm. uh, another one that was uh, just remembered right now was uh, Naito. Naito's a great luchador. Early on when he was in Mexico, I would see and the potential and what he would offer in the ring. And I just thought that he is an example of what New Japan has to offer and just felt more appropriate to be in the ring with some of those greats that New Japan has curated over the years. A one on one with Naito. You collided with him once in Fantastic Mania 2015 during the tag tournament. Where, uh, but this will be a one on one. It's not just with like La Sombra also involved in a tag team match. One on one with Naito would be cool, yeah. Yeah, it's different. No. Yes. No. I, th I agree. That would be absolutely awesome. All right. Next up here we have Candice Smith from San Francisco, California. Candice got the lovely Mascara Dorada t shirt. That's a cool shirt that Candace will be able to rep. You can get yourself one of these signed t-shirts. Don't forget, head over to Tokon Shop Global. Use that link in the description or the pinned comment in the chat. Signs. There you go. La firma oficial de tu amigo Mascara Dorada. Muchas gracias por la compra. Official signature from Mascara Dorada. Thank you very much for your purchase. Thank you very much, Candice. All right. Next up here, we got Ruben Santiago from Burga, North Carolina. They got themselves a signed portrait. Don't forget to get those tickets for Battle in the Valley coming back to the San Jose area. That is going to be on February 18th and JPW1972.com. Get those tickets now. Yeah, right. Así so es, así es, no se olviden comprar oh. los tickets para San Jose, ¿verdad? Don't forget to buy your tickets for, uh, what is it, San Jose? San Jose, Battle in the Valley, February 18th. All right, next up here we've got Pancho Thompson from Lawrence, Kansas. They got themselves a portrait, and Pancho has a question. If Marasca, uh, Mascara Dorada can... I would appreciate my autograph being a made out to Pancho. So if you can sign it to Pancho. Pancho? Uh, yeah, Pancho. Para, para, para okay. Pancho. Yeah. Uh, and as for my question, I want to know how he feels being back around CMLL again. Extraño también el Consejo Mundial de Lucha Libre. Y como se los comento, ahorita estoy en, en trámites de unos papeles para, para poder viajar para allá. En cuanto esté listo, voy a estar presente en la Arena México. Uh, he misses uh, wrestling in CMLL, and right now he is currently doing paperwork to be able to work uh, internationally. So hopefully you'll get to see uh, Mascara Dorada soon internationally. Oh, that'd more be frequently. awesome. 
All right, so hopefully we do see Mascarado back in CMLL. Right now we got him in New Japan strong. Hopefully we'll see you back in Japan Japan. properly as well. Yeah, that would be super awesome. Thank you very much, Poncho. Next up here, we got Charles Stewart here from Bangor, Maine. Charles got themselves a mask. Just a reminder, don't forget, Wrestle Kingdom 17th, January 4th, coming up in 2023, where we will crown our first ever New Japan World Television Champion. That's right, it is. It'll be Ren Narita taking on Zack Sabre Jr. as one of them will become the New Japan Pro Wrestling Television Champion. Zack Sabre Jr., a man that you faced off with back in the Cruiserweight Classic, you actually defeated Zack Sabre Jr. So if he wins the New Japan Television Championship, you think you might want to challenge Zack Sabre Jr. for that title? Oh, si gana que... En cuanto tenga la oportunidad de viajar a Japón, pues que me da una oportunidad por ese campeonato. Es un gran rival. Eh, lo enfrenté. Tú lo acabas de comentar en el Cruiserweight. Eh, Ojalá gane y se dé la oportunidad que, que pronto regrese a Japón y me dé la oportunidad por ese campeonato. If he wins, I would love to have a chance and I'll great, gladly take that opportunity to wrestle him. Um, I did face him in the Cruiserweight Classic, as you may know, and I uh, had a great match against him. So whatever, whenever, whenever you get a chance, whether it's here in the States or in Japan, I will gladly take on him anywhere I go. That'd be awesome. Let's see what happens at Wrestle Kingdom, see if he has that championship or not. Right now, though, we got Nick here, Nick Butita from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. As Nick got themselves a signed mask. So this one is going out to you, Nick. There you go. Thank you so much, Nick, for your purchase at the Tokon Shop Global. All right, next up here we have Isaiah Carlos here from San Jose, California. They got themselves a mask as well as a T-shirt. Two items available right there at the Tokon Shop Global. Head over that link in the description. We might be coming down to the wire here, so this is the time to act. Get yourself some signed Mascara Dorada merchandise while he is still in the building. And don't forget to check him out on New Japan Strong every Saturday, 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern on njpwworld.com. Classic episodes of Strong also drop on Thursday nights. So on top of New Japan on Access TV, you can also get free episodes of Strong that hit YouTube from the Strong Archive. So don't forget to check those out as well. Muchas gracias por la compra. So I wanted to know, like when we were speaking about the Cruiserweight Classic, you know, you're, you were in the finals of the Cruiserweight Classic, so you came up against TJP in that very critically acclaimed final. When you first came back to New Japan Pro Wrestling, when you stepped back in at New Japan Strong at Rivals, you went to go confront TJP. So that was almost like a full circle moment for you. So what was it like, like facing him back in the finals of that tournament versus facing him again in New Japan Pro Wrestling? Fue una emoción. Volverlo a enfrentar, pero tú lo acabas de comentar ahora aquí en New Japan Strong. Eh, era la, la revancha para mí porque me ganó ese, ese torneo. Me, me emocioné y digo, recordé ese momento cuando lo, lo enfrenté por, el, por la final, por, el, por ese torneo. Y le demostré aquí en New Japan Strong que aquí era totalmente diferente, ¿no? La, la lucha... Fue totalmente diferente y muy emocionado, muy contento porque me llevé la victoria. It was a very emotional night. Uh, well, it's very emotional knowing that it was a rematch for me. And um, I just remember feeling like it was uh, something that was a lot to uh, take in, uh, remembering that it was part of a tournament that I got to participate. And uh, just knowing that I was able to show that I can handle myself with anyone in that ring awesome what about like refacing him again in new japan how much different was it like after years of experience between both you and tj to face him one more time in new japan si sí, me encantaría enfrentarlo otra vez pero ahora en en japan en japón para que la gente de allá también vea ese enfrentamiento que 
no nomás lo, lo hicimos aquí en, en Estados Unidos, sino también me encantaría enfrentarlo en, en Japón, en México, en la Arena México, me encantaría enfrentarlo. I would like to face him again in Japan just to see how the audience would react to it and to see how we would able to get the Japanese audience to uh, see the great match that we had here in the States. Uh, I would love to face him in Japan, uh, whether it's over there or in Marino, Mexico. Oh, those would be cool. Maybe we'll see Catch 2 2 versus Lucha House Party. That'd be really cool for the <laughs> IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship. All right. We're going to move on here to Yuta, uh, Yuto Ota from Aichi, Japan. And Yuto got themselves a signed portrait. So this one's going to go all the way across the pond, all the way to you in Japan. Thank you. Arigato. Arigato gozaimasu, Yuto. All right. And then... Next up here, we got another signed mask coming up here for Alan Williams from Magnolia, Texas. Hasta Texas se va esta. Texas, ya? Yes. There we go. Come down in the wire here. This is going to be your last call on your orders. Head over to Tokan Shop Global right now. Get yourself a signed piece of Mascara Dorada merchandise. Uh, just like Annie Rodriguez here. Annie Rodriguez got themselves a signed portrait. Annie Rodriguez down here in Carson. Frequent order of the Tokan Shop Global online meet and greet. So thank you for being with us here again for another one. Carson, California. Saludos a todos. Thank you so much. And then we had another question came in here from Emmanuel Carenza from Lawrenceville, Georgia, it looked like. And their question was, uh, when you did participate in the Cruiserweight Classic, who was your favorite rival in the tournament? Oh, me... Mi mejor rival, la final contra TJP, mm. la final porque pues era un, era un mano a mano que toda la gente lo estaba esperando porque era, era la final y ahí se decía, se decidía todo, ¿no? Por el, por el campeonato, por el que todos luchábamos, esa, esa, este, esa liga, pues ese torneo que se hizo. Uh, my favorite rival, I uh, would have to go with uh, TJP, just because I met him with him in the finals. It was a matchup that everybody was anticipating, and it just decided that whole tournament right then and there. And um, it was essentially the biggest championship match that could have taken place at that time. Awesome. What a classic it was. And then we have here a signed portrait here that's going to go here to Aichi Asuka from Hokkaido in Japan, and they have a question here. Uh, they say, uh, Dora-chan, we are so happy to see you on New Japan Strong. Waiting for you to come back to Japan. No, pues muchas gracias por, por el apoyo. Espero pronto poder verlos eh, por allá. Ya saben que, que los extraño. Samishi a todos. Los extraño mucho. Thank you very much for your support worldwide out there in Japan. Uh, I really appreciate each and every purchase that was made out, there, out here and um, would love to be returned. I would love to return to Japan and just thank you personally. All right. Hopefully we will see you back in Japan soon. I'm looking forward to it. I know the fans in Japan are looking forward to it. Uh, we are going to be closing up the orders here at the Tokan Shop Global, so we want to thank you very much for being with us here tonight. Mascara Dorada, is there anything, like your final words that you want to say to the fans of New Japan Pro Wrestling or your fans just all over the world who are tuning in for this meet and greet for being here? No, pues muchas gracias por, por el apoyo que siempre me brindan a, a todos los fans de New Japan, eh, de México, de todo el mundo. Muchas gracias por, por ese apoyo, ese cariño, como se los comenté hace ratito. No tengo con qué pagarles, pero se, seguiré demostrando que soy uno de los mejores luchadores del mundo, donde quiera que me presente. 
I want to thank you first and foremost to, for all the support that you have given me, whether it's in Mexico, Japan, the world, and um, just indebted with all the love and support you have given me, uh, and we'll just want to showcase what I can to everybody around the world. All right, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, give it up for Mascara Dorada. Yeah.